It's hard to build a prototype. A lot of people, um, that's where they stop. You know, they, <laughs> they, they start with a great idea, but the prototyping is so hard. How did you, how did you build this? Uh, it took a lot of time and effort. This is like iteration number 10 or 12 right there. Each iteration costs a lot of money because you have to, uh, the thing I actually wrote my, um, my thesis on R and D, uh, which is research and development. What, what thesis? Uh, my, my thesis for my, for, I was in, I was at ASU. I graduated okay. and I went, I was in the honors college. There. Okay. Cool. So my thesis was on research and development and, um, I've always loved R and D. I've always loved the experiment and doing the cutting edge of making things. Uh, as Elon Musk once said, uh, if people don't make the things, there are no things, uh, which is true. Everything in this room is a thing. Yeah. Um, and somebody made it, somebody designed it, somebody designed that, somebody designed that, you know, somebody designed the texturing for this couch. Somebody had to do it. Um, and if nobody does it, then it doesn't exist. So, uh, that really inspires me to make things that don't exist, like this product. This has never been seen before. Like no one's ever made a radiative cooling phone case. That's, this is it. Yeah. There's nothing I am improving upon. I had to design this all from scratch. Did you work with a company to, to build it? Uh, a little bit. So I went on, I did like 99% of the actual design myself. Um, and then for some parts of it, just to validate it, to make sure like all the curves are correct or all that other stuff. I hired, I hired a guy on like Fiverr just to like make like, um, professional drawings of it. So that way I could hand it off to, to like patent people. Yeah. Um, and then the actual physical creation, um, how did that come about? Yeah. So I, for my initial prototypes, I 3d printed them myself, Okay. but uh, I found that my 3D printer just, it, it doesn't have, I don't, I have like a resin 3D printer and that's not the right material. Yeah. I need specific materials to make this work. Well, you need this material, right? So yeah. In the so 3D printer. so yeah. this one right here, uh, this is, so this is actually the active side. Um, so okay. there is ABS on the back. ABS is a very common, very strong um, consumer material. Your um, AirPods right there, those are made out of ABS. Strong material. Uh, yeah. This one's 3D printed, so that's why it's got all these lines in it. Top layer is polycarbonate. Um, that's another very strong material. Uh, a lot of like uh, alternatives to glass use polycarbonate. Yeah. And then the inside is a radiative cooling paint. Uh, I did not invent the paint, but I have perfected the formulation of the sprayable version of it. Um, it took and a so lot that's of time. the magic is the paint. Yes, the paint. Okay. The paint is the magic. It's very finicky. It's hard to work with. It, it, it it's it's very difficult to work with. And without breaking some trademark things like yeah. that, the paint company supplied me. I, I can't say much more about it. But um, it's very hard to work with. Uh, it's extremely difficult to work with. So good luck to anyone trying to copy this. <laughs> they're, they're gonna have to spend months, probably years, actually, because <laughs> they don't have. They probably. It's gonna take a long time to figure that out. Mm -hmm.